we're excited to announce that Label Studio now supports paginated multi-image labeling. This functionality allows you to stack multiple images on top of each other in a single task, making labeling easier than ever before. In this video, we'll demonstrate this functionality by exploring how paginated multi-image labeling unlocks basic PDF support. Let's dive in. The first thing we'll need to do is convert our PDF to a series of images. You can do this with some built-in functionality in Adobe Acrobat Pro or Preview on Mac, but we'll leverage a package called PDF to Image to do this programmatically in Python. Note that this is a wrapper around Poplar, so you'll need to install that as well. More instructions can be found on the PDF to Image GitHub page shown here. We've put the sample script into our Label Studio examples repository so that you can quickly access it. Essentially, we assume that you have a folder of PDFs somewhere. In our example, it's a subfolder called PDFs. We'll go through that folder and for every PDF, convert it to images and create a list of URLs to get to that image in the future using the based host path parameter. We strongly recommend that you host these images somewhere in the cloud using our external storage link, but you can also set the parameters on your local instance to enable local storage as per our documentation. The output of this script is two parts, all of the JPEGs that you need that should be placed in the appropriate storage and a data.json.json file that can be directly imported into Label Studio. Note that if you do not have global read permissions active on your cloud storage, you'll need to follow the instructions to link your cloud storage instead of uploading the way that I'll show you in this video. Now that our data is ready to go, we're ready to create a project in Label Studio. Simply click the Create Project button. We'll give it a name. Here we'll call it PDF. And then in the Data Import step, upload the JSON that we just created. For the labeling config, we'll go ahead and use multi-page document annotation. If you look at the code, you'll notice that it's made up of parts that we already recognize. We have the rectangle labels tag, which we use to create bounding boxes, and the image tag, which we use to display the image. You'll notice here that we have this value list parameter. That's what enables multi-page annotation. When we click into a sample, we can see that our document loads the series of images stacked on top of each other. In the template we're using, we're just going to draw bounding boxes around different sections of this document. These bounding boxes work the same way that they do in any other use case. Simply click on the label you'd like to use and draw your bounding box. When you're done, you can go ahead and click Submit. We can also add classification to this task. To do so, we'll add the Choices tag here below the image. Let's fix our spacing a little bit just for ease of reading. Now, we'll see that the Choices tag looks very similar to the way that we're used to seeing it, except that we have this Per Item Equals True field. This allows us to classify each page of the document separately instead of classifying the whole document as a whole. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, when we click back into our task, we'll see that we can make our bounding boxes just as we did before, and we have these new radio buttons at the bottom. This page does not contain an image, so we'll say does not contain image. When we go to the next page, you'll see that the radio button is clear so that we can make a new annotation for the new page. We'll select contains image on this one and click submit. Let's take a second to look at the output of these annotations. We'll do so by clicking the Show Task Source button here at the end of the line in our Data Manager. If we scroll down to Annotations, you'll see this new Item Index parameter. This is the page of the document that the annotation was made on, and it's zero indexed, which means that page one appears as item index zero. This allows you to resolve which page of the PDF your annotation goes on when you're finished. And that's it. With paginated multi-image labeling, you can now annotate documents like PDFs or other multiple image sets easily. Happy labeling!